A record of employment is a specific form for employers to file with Service Canada for any employee with insurable earnings who will have an interruption of earnings. Spire can generate ROEs to submit electronically for one or more employees, either for temporary leave or through a termination procedure. Before you can begin generating records of employment, you first should fill in your payroll account number and payroll contact person in a company settings so that you don't have to enter the same information on every individual ROE you create. To generate an ROE for one or more employees, this can be done from the Payroll top menu and the Records of Employment selection, if you have the user security setting to manage ROEs. This opens a screen with a list of previously saved or submitted ROEs, which you could filter or search through if you wanted to locate a specific employee or group of records. You can highlight any record and open it to view the information, or make changes if the record has not yet been remitted. And new ROEs can also be created. From the Record of Employment entry form, type or select the employee number for selection, which must be done to populate the Social Insurance Number field here, which is not editable. Other personal information, such as their address, pay period type and job title, are also loaded from the employee record but could be adjusted if necessary. Note that field or section labels are prefixed with a numeric value equal to the block number on the ROE form. The first day worked value comes from the hired date for the employee, but you may have to edit this if the employee has had a previous ROE and interrupted earnings, in which case this date should be the first day worked after that interruption. Also required is the last day paid and the ending date of the pay period this was in. The final pay period end date cannot be earlier than the last day paid, as per ROE rules, and an error will appear if this was entered. Optionally, whether the ROE is for a leave or termination, indicate this from the expected date of recall, along with the return date if known. Use the separation code drop-down field to select the reason for issuing the ROE for many possible choices. The company payroll contact information will be loaded as well. If you need to look up anything about this employee, you can use the Open Employee button to view or edit employee information in a separate window. There are two other tabs that contain ROE block information. The Insurables tab has the total number of hours worked and amounts, based on the required number of pay periods from ROE rules and the employee's time cards. These values can be edited for accuracy if needed, either a specific amount or for multiple selected pay periods and the hours value for each. The other tab has places to enter vacation and other payments not related to regular pay. The code fields are drop-down selections, both for vacation and for other monies, and you would include particular dates and amounts as well. Some employee categories, such as contract workers or commission salespeople, have special rules for ROE information, so access the CRA website for more information about that. When an employee leaves the company for whatever reason, their status will need to be changed to terminated, so that they are skipped in future payroll timecard batches. Within the Records of Employment area, there is a process to perform this status change and create the ROE in one step. On the toolbar is a Terminate Employees button, which will load the list of active employees. Typically, you would only need to highlight one employee, but multi-selecting is available, as is filtering this list to a particular group. Use Terminate All to set termination statuses and create ROEs for all listed employees, or Terminate Selected for highlighted employees. Then edit each ROE for required information. When all employee ROE information is correct, you can then generate the records for all on this list that have not yet been remitted. Use the Export to ESDC button to create and save the ROE payroll extract file for uploading to Employment and Social Development Canada through your Service Canada account and ROE web. After you upload employee ROEs to Service Canada, after successful completion, the next step is to indicate if the ROE records have been remitted. For all selected ROEs, 
using the Mark Remitted button will set the remitted data today. This step is strictly to indicate in Spire that the ROEs have been processed successfully and prevent further editing, and is not involved in ROE web processing. If a submitted ROE requires to be amended or replaced, you can do this directly on the Service Canada website. Or you can do this in Spire by creating a new ROE for the employee, with all information identical from the original ROE, and including the serial number from the original ROE, which you would retrieve from within your Service Canada account. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.